guys, it's Kalia. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. For today's video, I am going to be doing a Shein haul. With the school year coming up and the fall season coming up, I decided that I needed to get new clothes. So of course, I went over to Shein and bought like a bunch of things. If you're new to my YouTube channel, hi, my name's Kalia, as I told you. Um, be sure to press the subscribe button, turn on the post notification bell, and also leave a like on this video. Without any further ado, let's just jump right in. I have like all my clothes laid out here, so I am just going to be like putting them on and letting you know what I think, because I have not put on some of these clothes yet. So it's going to be like my first impression of the clothes. I also have a mirror here so I can see myself better. Okay, this is one of the tops that I have put on because I was super excited about it. Let me just put it on so you see. But... It's super cute. Like, I really, really like this top. Like, you can zip it all the way up like this. Or you can also, like, zip it halfway like this. I really like this style. I am wearing a white tank top because I already know that this shirt is super see-through. So you do need to wear something underneath it. This is just how it looks. I do not have any complaints at all about this shirt besides the fact that it's see-through and I'm gonna have to wear something underneath it. It's super comfortable and as I said, super cute. Let's see if I come up with any new vocab words today for describing my clothes. I would rate this shirt a seven or six and a half out of 10. It only lost points because it's see-through, but I feel like wearing like a white tank top underneath it is still super cute oh my gosh that's like the only word i know this is another top i got from shein it's this like yellowish nude color um this is my first time putting it on and i'm really digging it it's so so cute oh my god i only know that word it's cropped and um there's like an elastic here so it kind of bunches up right there and um this is how it looks Sorry if I turn this way. There's a mirror right there, but I should turn this way more. I would rate the shirt a 10 out of 10. This is the third top I got from Shein. It is more of like a hoodie dress, but I'm wearing like jeans under it right now. But I think it is the perfect length for a hoodie dress. It is quite see-through. I don't know if you can see like the tank top I'm wearing underneath it. But um, from like the moment I saw this, I was like, yeah, that's definitely see-through. I'm gonna need to wear something under it. Also, when I looked at it, I realized that it was not really that good of quality. Like your like usual hoodies that are like thicker, the material is quite thin. But since it is quite fashionable, I would rate this like a 7 out of 10. This is a cardigan I got from Shein. I'm not much of a cardigan person like at all, but I know that cardigans are associated with the fall time, so I had to hop on the bandwagon. This is how it looks. It is um, comfortable. I would say it should be pretty good for like the coldish weather because it's um, kind of thick, but like probably not good for like 50 degree weathers because I know that I feel like sometimes it can get that cold here during the fall time in Minnesota. The reason why I don't really like cardigans is because I feel like it makes my shoulders look big, but this is okay. I would rate this a nine out of 10. Okay, so this is a cropped hoodie that I've already worn. This was actually the first top or the second top I tried on after I received my Shein order. I do like it. It looks like it's picture on Shein and I love the butterfly right here. It also came in like a set. I'll show you the pants in a bit when I get to like trying on the pants for you guys. Um, let me just show you. I will give it a 10 out of 10 because I don't have any complaints about it at all besides having to wear- are you fucking serious? Besides having to wear like a tank top underneath it since it does rise up. Okay, so I'm gonna kind of cover this top like this because it is pretty see-through. I don't know, I feel like a lot of Shein clothes are like see-through like to the point where I have to wear something underneath it, which is annoying because it's just like an added layer of clothes. But this is how this top looks. It's like a little bit weird, like it like just like falls like weird on my shoulder. Like it looks like 
it doesn't fit you know what i mean but this is a small which is like my size so i don't know With that being said, I think I'm gonna give this top like a 6 out of 10. This is another top I got from Shein. It looks super cute right now, but as soon as I lift my arms up, it's just gonna like showcase everything underneath the shirt. So I do not like that at all. I think I'm gonna ask my mom to add like an elastic band or something underneath it. That's a little disappointing, to be honest. Also, I was like super excited to wear this top. Like I was gonna wear it with my outfit yesterday, but... I can't because of you know because of that I think I'm gonna have to give this top a 4 out of 10 sorry all right so now we are going to move into the pants section so I'm actually wearing a pair of jeans I got from Shein I have to stand my tippy toes so you see it better I like it it is very comfortable it's high-waisted and the rips look good um, they are a little bit long, so they bunch up at my feet, but that's because I'm really short and I have really short legs. But even with that, like, they don't bunch up too much, like, at the bottom. I would give these jeans a 9 out of 10. These sweatpants are so cute. I really love them. They're super comfy, too. My only issue is that they don't have pockets here, which is so sad because I feel like all sweatpants need to have pockets or something. They are quite long because my legs are short. Oh yeah, and they are part of the set where I got like the butterfly hoodie from. I give these sweatpants a nine out of 10 or eight and a half out of 10. Here's another pair of sweatpants I got from Shein. They're these tie-dye sweatpants, which I was so excited about. Like they're so cute and they also do kind of make a statement. But it's like a good type of statement, not like a, what is she wearing type of statement. These have pockets, which I'm really happy about because sweatpants need pockets. Let me just do a quick turn. Um, they're not super see-through, which is good, but they are made out of a thinner material. Like I expected them to be a little bit thicker, but I got them from Shein, so what did I expect? Um, so with everything being said, I would give these a 9 out of 10. Alright, I'm dreading putting these on because they are way too big for me. Like, this is, if the bottom of the pants hit the floor, this is how big they are. So I did request a refund because, to begin, they did give me the wrong size. This is a medium. I needed a small, probably an extra small. And when I was reading the reviews, they said that these pants were like originally baggy. So that's just a bad combination for me because that I'm just going to look like I'm drowning in these pants. But I'm going to put them on anyways. Let's see how it looks. Okay, actually they don't look that bad. They are really baggy. Like, no doubt about that. But they kind of look cute. Besides that, they bunch up like this at the bottom of my legs. I'm going to sneeze. <clears throat> oh Jesus. I would give these pants like a 6 out of 10. This is the last item I got from Shein. It's a black and white plaid skirt. This is how it looks. Honestly, I dig it. Oh, it has this like little V cut right here, which is really cute. A little bit scanty, but it's okay. Um, it fits nicely. They like hit my mid thigh. They're comfy, cute, I have no problem with it right now, and I can see myself wearing this with a bunch of different tops. I would give this a 10 out of 10 because it's everything that I wanted. Alright guys, so that is everything that I got off of Shein. If you enjoyed this video, please let me know by commenting down below and also pressing the like button and hitting the subscribe button and also turning on the post notification bell. If you have any questions about any of the things I bought, please leave them down below as well. And I think that's all. So with that being said, I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.